Gen CIA Juno's Introduction and Lab Preparation is the topic of this section. Juniper Juno's Associate Course or Gen CIA Juno's is a prerequisite for all other Juniper courses like CCNA in Cisco courses. In this course, we we'll learn how to work with Juno's, the operating system of Juniper devices, especially through the CLI interface. In the official version of JNCIA Juno's course, we first need to learn the network fundamental concepts, which mainly focus on network OSI and TCP IP model and layers concepts. However, in this course, I will assume that the students have already passed the Cisco CCNA course and I don't need to repeat these concepts. I've decided this because I believe JNCIA Jonos is a prerequisite for Juniper courses and not network courses. For network courses and specialties, I believe it's a better idea to start with Cisco CCNA course. In this lesson, I'll prepare the course lab by downloading and installing virtual SRX. SRX is a Juniper firewall and IPS solution. I chose this device for this course since I will follow this course with Juniper security courses. After preparing the course lab, we'll perform some basic configurations to access to Juniper device through Telnet, SSH, and web interface. We perform the configuration without knowledge of Juniper CLI commands, but don't worry, because we'll start learning Juno CLI configuration from the next video. This lesson is only to give you some feelings of Juno's commands. To download Juniper Virtual SI Firewall, I've registered myself as a guest in Juniper support website support.juniper.net slash support in the download section i've already searched for virtual srx v srx and downloaded the latest version of srx vmware ova file virtual srx vmware appliance with SCSI virtual disk OVA file. The latest version is 22.1 R1, which is released one month ago. After downloading, we can easily import the OVA file into VMware Management Console, deploy OVF template. I've already done, but just to show you. Next, accept, next. For example, which are SX1, next, next, and here we have to configure the correct port group for management access, and then power on after deployment. I've already deployed virtual SX OVA file, and then open console. When we load virtual SX OVA file, we see a login prompt by default the username is root without any password with entering username it shows you the Jonas version and release time and takes you to the FreeBSD shell environment for example ls or pwd in this mode we have access to the FreeBSD commands which is normally used in low level troubleshooting and maintenance tasks we will talk more about it in the next sections. Then with entering command CLI, we will enter Jonas operation mode. This mode is mostly used for monitoring, troubleshooting and maintenance. We will talk more about this mode also in the next sections. Then with entering configure command, we will enter Jonas configuration mode. This is the mode that we can configure the device or change the current configuration. We'll talk more about throughout the course. Just to have a feeling of Jono CLI environment and also be able to access virtual SRX through Telnet, SSH and also web interface, 
We will implement basic Telnet SSH web access, remote access configuration. First of all, it is necessary to set a password for root user in Jonos devices. Then we will give an IP address to management interface and then enable SSH, Telnet and web services for remote access. We will also add a username with root privilege for remote access. To start, first of all, it is necessary to set root password, edit system root authentication, and then we configure with set plain text password. I choose the password raika-code.com and again raika-code.com. At the moment, we are in the mode of system root authentication with top command. We will come back again to the top configuration mode. In the next step, we will set management IP address. We will go to the context mode, edit interface fxp0 unit 0 family inet. And again, and set 192, 168, 200, 100, slash 24. Set address. And again, top. And in the next step, we enable Telnet SSH and web access in the edit system and services we enable ssh with set ssh command by default the root user is not allowed for telnet ssh access even these services are enabled with a root login allow we allow the root user also to access through telnet and ssh and set telnet and set web management http not https and then top and in the last step we configure a new user raika with root privilege in edit system login we set user for example, Raika class super user with root privilege and then authentication, plain text, password, again with password Raika-code.com and Raika-code.com. Before applying the configuration, we can check the new configuration with show and again top with show compare command which shows the difference of current configuration and the configuration after applying the new changes then we have to apply the configuration when the configuration is correct with commit command As you have seen, in order to perform a configuration, we first enter that a specific section with edit command and then configure it through the set command. But it is also to configure directly with set command without entering different section. I've already copied the configuration in raikadashko.com website, for example, set system root authentication, set system login user, set system login user Raika, set system services, SSH root login allow, set system services telnet and so. So this is the other method of the configuration when we are sure of the configuration or we want to configure through a, through a remote automation device. For example, Ansible, we normally use the set version of the commands. You can always check set version of the configuration with uh, 
exit with show configuration but show me the set version of command display set so we can see the current configuration starting with set commands to make sure that the remote access connection works correctly let's check it first of all i ping the ip address to make sure that it is available yes and then i access through for example telnet or ssh 192 168 200 100 raika and raika dash um, and for example show configuration display set we can also check the web management interface with logging through with logging through the web interface With root user through the web, we are allowed to log in by default. And this is the Juno's web interface.